So I'm here with David Rigney. David started this team, Knights of Suburbia, officially back in 2015 with Russ. So, Dave, can you tell us what is Knights of Suburbia? So I wanted to bring you along a little ride this morning. Once a month, St Kilda Cycling Club, they're one of the biggest cycling clubs here in Australia. They host a monthly ride where members get the opportunity to meet one of the local teams. Now, this morning, we're meeting with Knights of Suburbia, and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work with these guys over the next few months, which I'll explain at the end of the video. But the thing about Knights of Suburbia is they're more than just a bunch of people racing bikes. There's a lot more going on there. So this morning, what I wanted to do was introduced you to the crew and let's learn a little bit more about Knights of Suburbia. So Alison, do you want to tell us what, what's going on this morning? Yeah, this is our St Kilda monthly Velo Vendredi ride. So it's Bike Friday in French. Um, we invite club members down to come for a spin and we tap on the shoulder one of our club race teams or a cause. Um, this week we've gone for, or invited Knights of Suburbia to come down. So great bunch of guys who, and girls who ride and race in support of the Love Me, Love You Foundation and, and youth mental health, um, wellbeing, um, sort of support and fundraising. Involved though? Um, riding Bash and all the other guys, I just asked what they do and what they're interested in, and I yeah. um, thought I was also interested in uh, mental health, especially for uh, for youngsters, for um, teenagers and stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's how I just started. You got involved. Got, got involved, and I enjoy riding my bike as well. So yeah, nice. Yeah. How about you? How did you get involved? Uh, oh, we got we were riding with uh, Rigo and Russ, who started up KOS, and um, had a bit of an unfortunate incident with a friend of mine uh, that sort of sparked the conversation with the boys about mental health, and um, from that yeah, that moment onwards, uh, grown. Yeah. Grown to about 350 wow. members now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What do you like about riding with the crew? Uh, just the laughs. Easy yeah. going. Yeah. Um, yeah. Getting dropped. <laughs> yeah. yeah, getting dropped is great. <laughs> 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 Self mate, you're a St Kilda club member? Yeah. yeah. How long have you been a member for? Oh, 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Have you done these rides before? Uh, no. No? no First time? I yeah, normally working. But yeah. uh, day off, I got, off got myself final. out of bed and yeah, got here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice yeah, the Velo Vondry, yeah. I do it every, every month. Every month? Yeah. What do you like about it? Oh, the big number of people, the, yeah. the groups, the different ride options. Yeah, okay, nice. How about yourself? Uh, same deal. I think this is my second, so... Uh, yeah, okay. but yeah, same deal. Um, Opportunity to meet some of the people yeah, in the community. Yeah, catch up with people and, and yeah, big groups. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is this yeah. the biggest group that you've seen here? Yeah, the biggest group, definitely. Biggest group, yeah? Yeah. yeah. How about yourself? Yeah, <laughs> yeah? biggest group. <laughs> David Rigney. David started this team, Knights of Suburbia, officially back in 2015 with Russ. So, Dave, can you tell us what is Knights of Suburbia? Mate, it's a, um, well, it's a cycling community now, it, um, but how it started was more just a little, a small bunch of guys. Um, you know, we used to play footy and use it as a form of training sort of towards the end of our career and a bit easier on the body and stuff and then um, we uh, got into crit racing against you know some teams like you guys and and uh, quickly found out that we needed a team <laughs> so, so it, it was uh, it was all around that mate and basically it was um, we just wanted to be a little bit different we were already involved with the mental health and the love me love you foundation so we said uh, Let's attach it to that and give it a bit of substance and, and you know that was 
that was five or six guys and it quickly became 30 and and today as we ride out here I mean you can see the support you know there's somewhere between 350 and 400 sort of active members if you want to call it that so um, it's become a little bit more than a crit racing team obviously but yeah more more a community now that um, you know promotes mental health awareness um, we've done quite a uh, quite a lot of fundraising in the in the past but how much have you raised oh look it would be, it would be somewhere around in, in in two years it was it's around 350 to 500 grand so right. we're sort of taking it a little bit of a different direction now just more um, trying to build communities because because like this was just our network this was just two guys networks so we just thought well it, it really should be happening everywhere yeah um, so we're branching out into little communities and you know starting trying to get people to start their own sort of KOS bunch rides um, you know we've had some contact from people in, in other states and and we're going to try and grow it that way because it um, you know it's genuinely making a difference to people's lives and just creating a safe environment for um, people to talk mental health Look, um, David Rigney and myself um, started riding probably about four years ago now. Um, we started riding towards the end of our football careers and um, we actually started riding down Beach Road on a Sunday morning and uh, a few mates uh, around the north started racing crits and we, we thought we'd get out there and uh, have a bit of fun as well and uh, noticed a few other teams with, with some pretty cool kits out there and it all, it all sort of started just by us wanting to get a group of guys together and, and start racing and, um, and design a design a, uh, a kit together and, um, and and just enjoy ourselves I suppose and um, I think the, the connection with Love Me Love You started pretty quick. We um, I played footy with Lance going back many years ago when I was uh, in my junior years. Yeah so we thought it was a, a really good um, really good connection and a, a really good partnership that we could strike up with Love Me Love You and um, I think um, that's, that's really been the stimulus for the growth that we've had over the last three years. You know we probably started out with probably 20 or so riders when we first set out, set out three years ago and um, we're all about, you know, driving the message for mental health awareness and uh, obviously we design a kit that's pretty out there and, you know, we get a lot of attention when we go on group rides and so forth and, and that's really what it's all about for us. You know, we, we get pulled over a lot at, at lights and at cafes and we get asked who we are and, um, and that really just starts the conversation about Knights of Suburbia and, um, and the partnership that we've got with uh, Love Me, Love You. And Love Me, Love You Foundation is a mental health awareness organisation that goes into schools and clubs and uh, corporate workplaces to uh, provide education and wellbeing programs, understand. Um, a little bit about support and what it means for a lot of people that are going through the challenges on their on their journey and um, you know how do we overcome that with uh, you know through awareness acknowledgement and action my role I'm CEO and founder of love me love you I started the organization uh, we launched four years ago um, it's all based on my lived experience I've been living with mental illness well, 20 odd years now um, drug abuse and nearly suicide about seven years ago um, so I thought it was a matter of me putting a you know putting a bit of hope back into the into the space and you know, the education programs and wellbeing programs and events and campaigns and everything that we do is just providing people a, a, you know, more, a more safer place to be able to acknowledge what's going on in their life and, you know, just give them the tools and strategies to, you know, overcome the challenges that I had to go through and many more other people uh, are going through in society. Yeah, how are you going there? Good. Yeah, you're really good. Yeah, I'm really good, actually. Um, you know, I, I love what I do. I love who I do it with and, you know, I understand my uh, mental illness a lot better. Yeah. Um, I understand, you know, it's not cured. I still live with it every day. And, but I understand my triggers and my behaviours and actions that I need to sort of instill in my every day to make sure that, you know, I can, I can go to bed with a smile on my face and but understand the, the challenges that come with it. And, um, you know, the, the life's pressures and expectations and everything that goes on with life today is, is a big challenge. Um, and, you know, more and more people are going through it. But I understand it a lot better now, so I can understand how I can move forward with it. 
You know, the Nostra Suburbia play a vital part in our community awareness, you know, creating those conversations, you know, re representing the brand every day when they're out on the road or wherever they are, just to make sure that people are, it's, an, it's a conversation starter pretty much. Um, and the more people that are having conversations around this space and, you know, because they say Nostra Suburbia, people ask, what's Nostra Suburbia? And they go, oh, we're aligned to Love Me, Love You and a mental health awareness. And, you know, that creates a conversation for people, which creates a level of safety and, um, you know, acknowledgement and engagement. And, you know, the, the sort of physical aspect of cycling um, is, a, is plays a big part in a lot of people that wear Lycra's, uh, you know, well-being. Um, it's about having those conversations and a, and a place where you can have that conversation and understand what support looks like for that person. This has been my second year now. Um, I got involved at the start of last year during the start of the season. Um, thankfully, I got in, uh, asked to join the, the race team that they were starting there. Um, but yeah, I, I thought Knights of Suburbia's underlying philosophy aligned with with what I was sort of working through at the time myself was I was using uh, riding to to help keep me balanced and keep me happy and um, you know for fitness as well as mental health um, well-being um, and I you know I liked the work that they were doing the inclusive culture of the the group and. Yeah, I mean, they got a, you know, everyone's got their own sort of story to tell, and it's a very sort of open and caring group of guys. And uh, you know, I think for me, it's a, it's sort of an ideal platform in terms of when you're riding next to someone, it's quite an easy way to sort of have a talk about what is going on for you. Um, well, I just saw them riding along and then Instagram, social media. Yeah, got yeah, involved? Yeah. And what do you like about being part of the team? Uh, well, I have a background in mental health nursing. Oh, wow, okay. So I have somewhat of a vested oh, cool. interest in, I guess, what they advocate for. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. How about yourself? How long have you been involved in Love, Love Me, Love You and uh, Nice Suburbia? Uh, about, uh, about six months, the beginning of the year. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that, uh, after a two and a half year hiatus off the bike, oh, uh, right. come back in. And um, yeah, I guess the, the, I'm involved with these guys because I went through a bit of a, a rough patch at the end of last year. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, a friend of mine suggested, you know, this, this was a great sort of group to be involved with and given the support of Love Me, Love You. And yeah, the, the rest, as they say, is history. How are you going now? Yeah, no, good, good. The, good. Bike is, uh, the bike is good therapy. It's, yeah, nice. It's, it's uh, yeah, cheap therapy. So, That's no, awesome. it's, yeah, it's been fantastic. The group, the group, the group's fantastic. That's awesome. And we're having a chat on the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you 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 know Rigo from Eltham. Yeah, yeah, I um, live in Eltham, so Riggers and uh, Russ I met at Papa Bear Cafe one morning. Yeah. And I uh, got chatting and then somehow got involved with the Knights of Suburbia and then did the second Love Me, Love You ride. Yeah. So that was Marysville and back, and that was a great weekend. Um, and to get involved in the group and the cause, the Love Me, Love You, uh, the mental health, because it's all about having the conversation and getting around the cause, yeah, yeah for sure. Nice. Yeah, and I love being a knight. All right, so just heading home now, and just want to say, St Kilda Cycling Club, great initiative for putting on these bunch rides, and Knights of Suburbia, what a great crew, and what an unbelievable cause. It really is quite a magnificent thing going on here in Melbourne. Now, what I wanted to tell you at the end of this video, David from Knights of Suburbia, he actually reached out to me a couple of weeks ago, and many of my subscribers will know that I've got a goal, I want to try and win an A-grade criterion before the end of the year. And he said to me, have you thought about tying this goal of yours into a cause? And I said, no, I haven't, but I thought it was a great idea. So, what I want to do, through the Love Me, Love You Foundation, is I want to try and raise $3,000. If I can win an A-grade criterion, I want to have a brand that gets behind the initiative, and if I win an A-grade criterion, they donate $3,000 to the Love Me, Love You Foundation. Now that brand, which I haven't found yet, in return, will get a full comprehensive review on Bike Chaser with video, and we'll also do a video on this YouTube channel right here. And I'm also willing to wear their kits or leathers or anything that you like in order to get this done. So in the comment section below, if there's anyone out there, let me know. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.